I um I put some on the the Paul Sykes page last night, which was um was a synopsis, like a a blurb for what the film is going to be about. Um, it's you know just my opinion. It sounds I lost briefly spoke to the writer a couple of years back, Leo Bill. Um, I said in my opinion, it sounds like it's going to be a bit like Rita Sue Bob too. Um, and I've had a few messages saying, oh, um, you know, it shouldn't be like that. Don't, you know, don't be taking the piss out of Wakefield. Uh, you know, listen, I started, the uh, I started getting an interest in Paul Sykes in 2012. Uh, wasn't even, you know, I listen, I, I left school without any exams, didn't do anything, had no education. Um, it was always good with English, but I, in 2012, I watched that documentary and then I spent the last, the next three years, um, 2015, obsessing over it. No idea for any kind of book. Uh, just wanted, <clears throat> just wanted to know what happened to Paul Sykes. Uh, I Googled that he died. I knew he'd fell on hard times. But I wanted to know and I wanted to understand and I wanted to know how that guy, the powerful image on the documentary, could become such um such a, a vulnerable adult, you know, who, who, who was who, who was sleeping in doorways and getting beat up and yeah, I just I didn't understand how someone could go from there to there in such a such a short space of time. So after asking a lot of authors, um, just do a book because I want to read it, I thought, you know what, I'll do it myself. Can't be that hard. I bought a dictaphone, went and spoke to the correct people. Uh, and to cut a long story short, done three Amazon bestsellers, which has been signed to become a film uh, and a documentary. So I understand, I really do get, right, that I'm not everyone's favourite person in Wakefield. Um, probably T-Side as well. <laughs> but uh, I get it because a lot blame me for waking the ghost of Paul Sykes up. Uh, so I've... I, I, what, when I, the post I put on last night, it's been copied and pasted to a couple of... Um, one or two Wakefield pages... And uh, it's been met with the usual, oh no, you can't do this, you can't fake, make a film on him, he was a monster, doesn't do the good for our city. And then you've got the people who say, oh, I liked him, uh, he was always nice to me. You've, all, you've got the many different opinions and the many different mixed emotions on Paul Sykes. Uh, listen, I totally get it. And in, in truth, the reality is, if I'd have grew up in, Paul's, if I'd have grew up in Wakefield, on the Lupset estate, would I have liked him? Probably not. Would I have found him interesting? Um, absolutely. Would I have been? Would I have been um, blown away and want to study him? And even if I was scared of him, and I'd, would I still want to watch him from afar? Yeah, I would have done. Because uh, he was an unbelievable character, and um, you know this is why. This is why Western Edge Pictures, who've made the Oscar Pistorius film, they've made the Billy Piper Rare Beast, they've made the Prevenge horror film, what else have they done? The Joe Calzaghi documentary. This is why Western Edge Pictures have come and they're going to pump millions of pounds into a film and a documentary. Um... Listen, although the four books have been merged into the script and the script has been written, um, that the, the selling point is Paul Sykes. It's not me. It's not. It's not the skill of my books. Or it's it's that documentary. It's sweet agony. Um, <clears throat> maybe not so much sweet agony because the film's going to start off from nineteen eighty nine, and um, the book the book wasn't finished until nineteen eighty eight. And it wasn't released until 1990. Although that book is from March 77 to June 79. So, um, you know, the, if you're talking about a film from 89 onwards, when he gets out of prison, 
then it's no brainer that the, the script has been written from unfinished agony, further agony and final agony. But um, yeah, I get the fact that to say I'm slightly disliked in Wakefield for doing the books is a bit like saying Hitler was a little bit naughty. Uh, I get it because <clears throat> Paul Sykes had been dead five years. The city of Wakefield had forgot about him. And uh, this nosy biddy body from, out, from 60, 70 miles outside, 70 miles out the area, come along and started lifting up stones and snooping into stories, which many of this, most of the city would rather forget and didn't want to be reminded of. Um, yeah, you know, that's whether you love him, loved him, hated him, thought he was all right, didn't really understand him, didn't know him, but you've seen him from afar. Everyone in the city of Wakefield will have had, they've got some story on Paul Sykes um, whether you met him once is just that um, he's that much of an un unforgettable character that everyone will remember where you were and and how old you were when you you know you come into a pub and everyone says oh they're sexy don't look at him just don't look at him um, yeah there's so much I mean I was speaking to um, a gentleman last night who rang me up and he was telling me stories about he used to work in an Indian restaurant um, and Sykes, he, just when he got out of prison, used to come in. Um, and a lot of the staff were like, look, it's Paul Sykes. Just don't look at him. It's like, um, do you know that horror film where you're supposed to stand still and you don't look at them? I can't remember what it is now. But when Paul Sykes was walking on Wakefield, you'd have thought an eight-foot wild bear was on the loose. People would stand still and freeze. Certain couples would go... I Paul, you're all right. And in, in my research, the, the ones who went, I Paul, I your right, pet, they're the ones who kind of, he he, you got his respect. But um, listen, you seen Paul Sykes in the national paper yesterday, the Daily Star. Um, I'm going to be, I spoke to them yesterday. Uh, I think they're going to do another follow-up. But you're seeing now the first signs of the Paul Sykes film and document. You think you're seeing the first signs of what's about what's going to be in store uh about arguably the most <sighs> unique um controversial charismatic um unbelievable one off you will ever come across in your life um yeah he is he is someone that I could have just done seven eight books on easy uh, I've done three books. Paul had one. There's been another two others published by Walker. So there's six in total. Um, unless unless it was his wife or one of his kids or something, I, I'm done with the full Paul, Paul Sykes story. And it's to others. Um, there's a podcast tonight, which I've been asked to do, uh, a boxing podcast. There's also one, um, Criminals in Sport. I think they're from America. Uh, criminals... Sp Criminology in sports science, or something like that, uh, and you know, you, you every other day you click on YouTube and there's something new about Paul Sykes. So um, you know, the people in Wakefield who don't understand it, I, I do, I sympathise, and I really, you know, I, but there's you must understand that there's a lot of people like myself and all over the world who, yes, you lived it, yes, you you've got the scars and. Uh, psychological bad memories but there's a lot of people in the hundreds of thousands maybe even millions who've all seen Paul talk doing that iconic speech about him punching sharks at Six Gizzen Road uh, people are you know they see him on YouTube and they're like who how who's that bloke they don't understand you know the the the, the life he had from the rise and the fame to the down and the the brutal, the brutal demise that was so humiliating. And was it karma? I don't know. Maybe God is the only person to say that. Did he deserve? Did he deserve what he got? In my opinion, nobody deserves the ending that Paul Sykes got. But I know there's a lot of you out there in, in Wakefield that have have the opinion because you've got the memories, um, and many of you have the broken bones and the missing teeth and. Uh, 
you know, even even at his latter years when, you know, he wasn't a scary monster anymore. He was just a town nuisance. Um, he couldn't really beat people up or terrorise them, certainly in the manner that he once did. But um, he was still a nuisance and he still caused chaos, mayhem and destruction wherever he went. Albeit whether he was shouting at kids in the bus station or shoplifting for booze or um, just shouting at cars or pissing up, pissing in the pissing on a Bob the Builder thing. It just lots of different things that you know. There's only there's only Paul Sykes that you just that his life. You just like wow. I I could talk about him all day. As I said, I I had. The information and knowledge, and I could have done so much, so many more books on Paul Sykes if I'd wanted to. Um, but of course, I'm I'm leaving true crime, and I don't want to. I don't want to go on to the same thing. Uh, so this now, it's over to Western Edge Pictures. They're going to produce a film and a documentary. I'm sure other people will come along and they'll do books, but I'm definitely finished regarding from me, unless someone really close to come to Paul from Paul, albeit his kids or. One of his one of his free wives. That's never going to happen. Um, so that's it. It'll be done. But um, you know, what, you, it'd be interesting to see when the Paul Sykes razzmatazz, when the kind of Sykes mania happens, and there's films and documentaries, and you see posters up, and it's at Leicester Square. His his story, um, nothing to do. With, well, it is a bit to do with me because from my books. But although I'm finished, there's other people bigger who are you know. Is, pumping lots of money and um and it's gonna get absolutely huge uh the guy they're talking about playing paul sykes is a big big star a bit of a half rob um as i said the main 80s band are talking about doing the full soundtrack i know they've been in negotiations so that tells you the level of what the film and the documentary is going to be uh you know it's certainly going to be a lot of funding put into it and i think it's going to be huge i certainly hope so for the Paul Sykes story, um, for for his for his legacy, does he have a legacy? I don't know. Uh, of course he does. Um, you know, his best friend Delroy Showers said to me, who was very educated, he said, "Notoriety or being infamous in itself is a form of success." Uh, and you know, and Sykes, he, listen, well, or any what your feelings were, you certainly remember him. Um, you know, and once upon a time, even for just a couple of years, Paul Sykes brought a bit of limelight to the city of Wakefield. Because, uh, you know, who, for me, there's two people in Wakefield who I'm aware of. One's Paul Sykes and the other's Jay McDonald. Um, Paul Sykes certainly got my attention regarding the city of Wakefield. But, um, you know, I've had I've had one or two messages from people saying, this film, please don't let it take the take the piss out of our city, because people will really get the hump. Um, listen, it's not going to. It's going to be done in a very good manner. Full professional actors, some some very well known actors. I can assure you, um, you know. And there's a lot of money going into it. There's a lot of funding. There's going to be a lot of promotion. Um, lots of television work, radios, lots of papers to come. Uh, how good it. It is how accurate it is to the story. I've got no idea, but um, you know, as I said, there's there's nobody more excited. Not just from for, because it's to do with my books, but you know, when I started the journey, if you like, I was just <sighs> how can I say it? I'm not a fan. I wasn't a fan, um, but I was I was obsessed. I was obsessed. 2012. I was I spent three years obsessing. Anyone who I spoke to, like Wakefield, I'd be, I'd want to know. And uh, of course, after three years, I realised that no one was going to write a book. No one was going to do any other things. I just went, you know what, took my jacket off, all my beer, walked in the city of Wakefield. Yes, I've upset some people. Um, you know, I haven't done it intentionally. All I've done is do a story or several stories on your most infamous son, that's ever graced your city. But uh, I totally get why um, a huge majority of the city would rather have um, been left. But, um, you know, you can appreciate now.
it's gone to the films, it's gone to the documentaries, and then um, what will be will be. You just got to um, leave it to the hands of the professionals, such as Vaughan Civil from Western Edge Pictures, such as Leo Bill, the scriptwriter. And um, when you find out who the guy, the leading guy is who's playing Paul Sykes, it's like looking at him. That's how much of him. Um, it's oh, you, you. I've actually seen a picture with him with a mustache. In hair, exactly like jet black hair, combed. And the funny thing is, I think he's about 42 now. So next year when they start filming, he will be 43. And um, yeah, when that when that Paul Sykes at Large documentary was filmed, Paul Sykes was 43. And the, so what the film takes off from 89. So that Sykes was 43. So the guy's six foot. Yes, he knows he's going to do boxing training. Yes, he knows he's practicing Yorkshire accent. Yes, he's going to put weight on. But if you look at them both together, you couldn't get anyone better. And uh, when the first idea come along, Vaughn Civil said to him, I know this because the actors told me, he didn't ask him. He said, I'm going to do this film on Paul Sykes, da 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 and you're going to play Paul Sykes for me. That's how he was asked. So listen, guys. There's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of exciting things coming along. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. It really, really is. Um, so keep following the page for more updates. I will update you. Uh, there's lots of things I can't say. Uh, contracts have been signed, and I'd get in major shit if I announced them. But uh, as soon as we can say things, as as soon as um, Western Edge just want to take the gloves off and. Uh, and just go open season. That's when you'll be the first to know on this channel. Thanks for your time, guys. Don't forget to click and subscribe. And make sure you follow the Paul Sykes page on Facebook for more updates.